What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon X and Y. Last episode we took out the Lavier Town Gym. Actually it's Lavier City. I keep saying Lavier Town just because this place kind of has a town feel to it. I don't know if you guys know what I mean but this place just kind of looks like a town. It doesn't really look like a city to me. It's got that like cute little town feeling to it especially with the giant wooden clock on the tree and stuff. Anyway today we're going to be heading off to the Pokeball Factory. Yes, Ball of Factory are sent to Marts all over the Kalos region, or Pokeballs from the factory. So, it's actually going to be right up here, and we're going to head on inside. As our friends Shauna and Trevor are actually waiting for us here. How vexing! We won't let us inside the Pokemon Ball facility. What? Why won't they let you in, man? He'll let us in. You'll see. I'll go talk to him again. Oh, Shauna's going to provide some of that girl power. Going to convince him to let us in. Well, I'm guessing it's a dude that's up there. Hey, it's Serena and Tierno, too. What's up, girl? You like my new duds? You think I'm looking hot? What What do you think? Are you impressed? No? The Shauna and Trev's go running off just now? What's the deal? We were supposed to meet here too. I wonder what the matter is. Eek! Oh. Oh, well, I'm guessing that didn't go too well. Shauna, wait! What the? Um. <coughs> uh, little. Uh, that was a little weird. It's Team Plasma Grunt chasing after Shauna there? Maybe she'll actually be finally off our tails, man. What's going on? Oh, I guess I'll go help them. <laughs> what about you, Serena? What do you think? Team Flare, there might be something happening inside. Let's check it out while the guard is gone. Wow, so we're just literally... You know, Serena, I like you, man. You want to ditch our friends to go check out some abandoned factory thing. Well, it's not abandoned, I guess. But let's go and do it. I don't even know where the entrance is. But look, it's a hedge maze, which I'm guessing there's going to be some hidden items in here as we already find one. Awesome. So, yeah, we're going to be heading into this Pokeball facility. I've never been in here. I think that's kind of clear by now that I haven't played this game before. So, yeah, I've never been in there. So I don't know what we're going to be finding in there as we find also a Max Ether here. And I'm wondering if there's any more hidden items or anything around these little nooks and crannies of this hedge maze. There's a lot of hedge mazes in this game. I wonder if there's actually a lot of hedge mazes like in France. So I'm going to go ahead and use the, uh, the dowsing machine as I've kind of learned how to use it. I mean, it means there's an item that way. Yes. Ah, oh, ah, ah, there we go. See, that is how you use the item machine, the, the dowsing machine. I guess it, it points in the area that the item is in. It's always done that, but I don't know. The one in this game is, is just weird for me. So this one means that an item is actually over this way. So uh, if we actually look down here, it means the item's down there. Yeah, I don't know, honestly, but uh, it does kind of tell us where it is. And as you see now, it's a little bit easier to use. I honestly just didn't get it before because I would have it pointing to one direction and then it would switch up randomly and I couldn't tell which where the item is. But uh at least in a hedge make life scenario, it seems to be a lot easier to use than it was back when we were trying to find like the, the key card thing to get into the power plant and whatnot. So let's see if there's any more items around here. <coughs> I guess not. And uh, we're going to go and head into the Pokeball machine thing, I guess. This is actually the entrance. It looks like a giant warehouse. I keep saying the Pokeball machine, but it's actually the Pokeball factory. So looks like Team Flare is up to no good in here. Can't that idiot outside even handle guard duty? Ah, Team Flare gang sign, go! Are you even gonna do it? No, I guess not. What a red suit like that? You must be a member of Team Flare, right? Did you have to take a part-time job at the Pokeball Factory to pay for that ugly suit? Oh, Serena with the burn! How dare you mock Team Flare! Mighty Anna, get him! <laughs> oh man, Serena, too good! So she is actually gonna have a little cat fight here, look at that. We're just gonna stare at her. Oh, you passionate, passionate woman. You got this. You, you go, girl. You take care of this. I guess we've got, uh better b business to take care of well better is not the right word and more important business to take care of which is every single other grunt in the factory as serena takes on just one of them so toxic croak first to start us up in today's episode a lot of people have been telling me to actually switch out auto for a little bit because he is getting kind of over leveled and i do want to admit to that he's level 48 right now so I don't know, we might actually switch out auto for a little bit for something else. I didn't want to do that because it's one of our starter Pokemon, so I don't know. It's just kind of like, he's a starter Pokemon. I kind of wanted to keep around, but I may actually take this opportunity to actually try and train up Binacle because I've really wanted to use Burberacle, which is his evolution, and it's a really weird Pokemon that I kind of want to train up and I haven't actually used one yet. So I may go ahead and do that after we take care of this Battle Factory Pokemon Ball 
thingy. Why do I keep not being able to think? It's Pokeball Factory. I keep saying either machine or Pokemon Factory or something that's not what it is. Um, so let's actually switch uh, Coral up first. She actually did a pretty good job in the gym last episode, so I'm hoping she'll be able to keep up that hype train. And looks like we got some little conveyor belts that we can travel around here. This kind of reminds me of Team Rocket way back when in like Fire and Leaf Green and I guess the originals. But uh, I've talked many times about how I haven't really had a super experience with the originals just because, I don't know. This might sound dumb and you'll probably hate me for this, but I can't get into playing the originals with just every other game that I've grown up with being so much more appealing looking at least. And I don't know, first, and se first to second generation had such a huge change and impact that uh, whenever I play the first gen games, I just feel like I'm playing such an inferior version of like what I could be playing, I guess, with like Fire Red or Leaf Green. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. I know that it's a little bit uh, judgy, but it's mainly because I never played the original game, so I never got the original experience of it. So yeah, that's kind of my experience with it. Um, I did play second gen though, and I really like that, and I still do like those games. I guess it's just mainly because I never originally played the first gen, so. Either way, uh, what I was saying was that the conveyor belts remind me a little bit of like Team Rocket hideouts and like Blue's Gym in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver, I guess, where they have little pads that warp you around, or, well, not warp you, but, you know, move you around kind of like a conveyor belt. And in this game, they actually look like conveyor belts, they don't look like random colored Dance Dance Revolution pads because <laughs> that's kind of what they look like in all the other games. I think in Ruby Sapphire actually also the the twin gym leaders, the double battle gym battle uh, has like weird little spinny tile things too which are kind of like conveyor belts. But at least in this game they actually look like conveyor belts so that's a plus. Alright let's throw on the dowsing machine. I guess we can't do that. Why does the camera angle like randomly change there? It's weird. I guess we can actually get back here, and there is an item, a Quick Ball, cool. I've actually been meaning to buy some different Pokeballs, um, because there's actually a Pokeball shop in Lumio City where you can buy a ton of different Pokeballs and stuff, and I've been meaning to buy some Quick Balls and some Timer Balls, because I like catching Pokemon, man. This game actually even promotes catching by giving you experience when you catch stuff, so I really like catching Pokemon, and I'm gonna try to catch more. Don't worry, be happy! I wonder why she says that, man. <laughs> that is a total reference right there. There's actually a ton of references in this game. I don't know. It's got way more than previous Pokemon games do. I don't think previous Pokemon games actually really referenced a lot of real world like memes and references to songs and stuff. As I've seen, there's a ton. There's like a DBZ reference. Apparently later on we're going to see a, a, tra no, a trainer that actually references Reggie fils -Aimé, the My Body is Ready Nintendo of America director guy. <laughs> what is he, like, head president of Nintendo of America, I think? Yeah, Reggie's, uh, Reggie's pretty high up there, man. He's high maintenance. I would not want to take him out on a date. He's probably asked me for expensive things, and yeah, would not take Reggie on a date. But yeah, there's a reference to him in the game, apparently. There's, of course, that Dragon Ball Z reference that, uh, I skipped, <clears throat> quote, quote, uh, and there's, a, I don't know, there's a lot of references to real life stuff in this game, and apparently a ton, ton, ton of Hoenn references, which is pretty cool as well, and apparently we use our super effective fairy type moves on Hamidiana just for him to use his super effective dark type moves on us. So another matchup that I'm actually just now learning is that fairy is super effective against dark Pokemon. So so far we've got that they're good against dragons, they're good against dark, and they're good against fighting. I believe that's it actually, so yeah. Hair, uh, Laliette is actually learning Signal Beam, and I think I might actually finally get rid of Covet. Honestly, guys, I haven't made use of it. I really wanted to use it, or keep it around, but I don't know. I just haven't made any use of it. And I don't think we have any Bug-type moves on our team, so right now, Laliette actually is really good overall. She's got four different types of moves. She's got Bug, Fairy, Psychic, and Ghost, so she's got a lot of typings covered with that super high special attack, too. So Laliette definitely... Proving that she's one of the better Pokemon on my team, actually. I'm really glad I chose Meowstic. I just really liked it from the very first moment I saw it revealed. And, uh, I don't know. It's actually proven to be a really cool Pokemon. So, one of the ones that's actually kind of stayed on our team for a really long time. As well as Otto and, I think, uh, who's our third super main Pokemon? I don't know. We had Torchic or Blaziken for a while. And then we kind of replaced that with whoever. What is even our team? Okay, we've got Coral, the Skrelp, Laliette. Otto, Brave, Excalibur, and Finks. I guess our fourth team member was uh, Aladar, the Tyrantrum, but I went ahead and took him off the team for a little while. 
Uh, I might do the same with Auto soon, just to train up some more Kalos Pokemon. But yeah, Tyrantrum was a pretty big part of our team for a long time. And then we finally evolved him, and I decided, hey, Tyrantrum, now that you've evolved and become better, let's not use you, because I am just that... I guess heartless of a Pokemon trainer. So let's go ahead and take on the rest of these Team Flare grunts. As you saw there, we actually have a little computer we can go to and I guess a little shack or something. I don't know what that was. Just like a little uh, director's cabin thing where I guess the head of the factory will sit and command people. I believe I've actually had the EXP share off for all of these battles here. I completely forgot that I actually turned it off to evolve Sylveon, and I've forgotten to actually turn it back on ever since, so this is actually maybe why the game is becoming a little more challenging. Honestly, I might just keep it off because the game is actually becoming a little more challenging, or I may turn it on again because I do have Gumi and stuff that I want to train up, so yeah, I think I'm going to keep it on actually and probably, or well, turn it back on and bring another team member for a little while to replace Otto for just a little bit. I'll probably bring back Otto by the time the Elite Four comes actually. I'll have a whole slew of Pokemon to pick from, so it's gonna be pretty great. Even though some of them might be a little underleveled, but I'll just train them up and we'll be fine. I just want it to be like by the end of the game at the Elite Four or whatever, um, just have like 20 different Pokemon leveled up to choose from so that you guys can actually get a little bit of a choice in what you think my final team for the Elite Four would be. I've never done that before in a Pokemon game and this game really does give you the opportunity to kind of have a lot of Pokemon on your team, kind of like Ash did in Unova, how he had like eight different Pokemon in rotation. Well, sort of like that. So let's go ahead and push the button and the conveyor belt has actually been reversed now which will be very helpful, I guess, to getting to our final destination. Hopefully that is not death by a roller coaster, as in the movie's final destination, but I guess uh, we'll never know until we get there. So here we do have all the scientists that I guess have been held hostage by Team Flare. Oh no, will you guys give us some prizes when we beat them, hopefully? Kind of like the guys in uh, the power plant did, I'm hoping. Both you and your Pokemon should take a nice rest for a while. Aw, oh, thank you, kind lady. I love it when people just randomly heal us, man. It's great. Trash can is empty, so let's head back to the Pokeball factory and wrap this up. I guess you gotta head back down and actually take the conveyor belts because they have now been reversed polarity. And uh, yeah, they'll take us to different places now. So let's go ahead and take this one. Oh, never mind. I guess not that one. All right, for some reason, I didn't notice that you can actually step back up right here. I don't know why, but that is where we're going now. And I've gone ahead and reversed the polarity of the conveyor belts. And actually, we already battled you. I think I actually reversed it just the way it used to be. Did I really do that? I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I did. And now we can't do anything. I don't know why I'm so confused by this, but yeah, we reversed the polarity. There's actually a little steps that you can take right there. I didn't even notice, but now we can actually make it over here to this side of this lady that we already battled and actually get behind this guy too and finally get up to the end of this Pokeball factory. I don't know why I confused myself so hard there, but here we are. Come now, work for Team Flare. If you just help us, we wouldn't have to carry all these Pokeballs by ourselves. Or without a contribution of just five million dollars, you could become a member of Team Flare. It's a no-brainer. What in the world are you Team Flare fools thinking? I'll never forgive any group that tries to take all the Pokeballs for itself. Forget it. I'll quit wasting time with this person. I agree. There's no way we can use here. Let's blow this place to smithereens. What? Oh, what do we have here? An intruder. No, you're one to talk. You, please help me. Oh my, my, my. Getting a little desperate, are we, Mr. Company President? Well, I guess I'll just have to extinguish your little glimmer of hope. All right, so here we go. We're going to take on a Team Flair admin. Huh, I thought this was uh, Eliana again, but I guess it is just a normal admin. And we've also got two executives in the back there. Green and purple hair lady. I don't know what they're called, but we'll figure it out. So far, all we know is... Uh, orange hair lady, I guess she's kind of got the, the typical team flare hair, which is the orange, but uh, that was Eliana, and now we have two more green and purple, so we're just going to call them Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup. Uh, there isn't really a Bubbles, but I guess we'll call the purple hair one Bubbles, so we got Buttercup and Bubbles here. Houndoom up next, this is actually something that Skrelp can handle, and I totally forgot to turn on the EXP share, I just said I was going to a couple of minutes ago in that last battle and I totally forgot so hopefully well I remember to do that probably uh, between the next few episodes because I'm probably not gonna do it in this episode so I'll just do it after this one and I'll turn it back on and we'll be gaining XP for the whole team again after I actually take out Otto since I don't really want him to gain many more levels so yeah 
This Houndoom actually being a little bit more annoying to take out than I anticipated, and Skrelp being a little bit more high level to evolve than I anticipated is actually like level 48, so we're gonna have Skrelp for a while, unfortunately, though I do think this game eventually, like you, by the end of it, you're super high level, so we'll definitely have Skrelp. That's something that I kind of didn't like about Black and White too. is like, well, not two as in the sequel, but just Black and White also, is, uh, I don't know, the levels for the Pokemon all were really high to evolve them, like, I think Hydreigon was like 60 or something, and you didn't really end up being that level by the Elite Four or anything, so they didn't end up evolving until, like, the post-game, which was really weird to me. So here is Bubbles, so lame, that's just embarrassing for an admin. Still no worries, we're on it, this pair of scientists will clean up after you. Let's take him on two versus one. I'm guessing Serena's about to show up. We must improve our chances of winning. Yep. We'll see about that. Sorry I'm late. There's another one? One kid too, doesn't it make a lot of difference? When we're the ones fighting together, our odds of victory increase ex exponentially. Not, not confidentially. You might want to check your numbers. Are you ready, even scientist? Or really even scientist? Can you help me fight them, neighbor? Really? You're still calling me neighbor. Alright, well... We're still neighbor zone, guys. Let's go and battle some Team Flare execs. We'll find out their real names. Celosia and Bryony. Those are some weird names. I'd rather call you Bubbles and Buttercup and Eliana could be Blossom, so she's your leader. Or maybe that bald guy can be the leader. You know, the one we saw in that trailer all the way back. That can probably be a pretty good leader. All right, so let's go ahead and battle these guys. I'm actually going to go for main Nectric here, and hopefully Meowstic does the right thing by going for, uh, never mind. Coral is dead. Alright, see you later, Coral. What move did it even just use there? Thunderfang? I felt like that was a bite or a crunch, but it was definitely Thunderfang if it was super effective on us, so... Let's actually have Otto in one last battle, I guess, before we stitch him out next episode for a little bit. Uh, and we're gonna see how he does here, as he's actually got that power-up punch, so... We'll use that a couple of times on Lyopard, and then, uh... Build up our attack so we can take out the rest of their team members. So there it actually goes using bite. So earlier it used uh wow that Meowstic is getting crushed, man. I feel so sorry for you. Our Lolliet is so much better than your Meowstic Serena. You'll never be as good, man. I'm sorry, that's just the way things have to be. So there we go. We take out Lyopard finally. Three Pokemon down for us, or actually two, and finally we take out one of hers. So Serena is actually gonna go for her Absol now. Cool, I didn't even know she had an Absol. And apparently these Team Flare guys only have one Pokemon each. Why do they each only keep having one Pokemon? I really don't get that. It's like, man, why can't you just use, like, all these Super Pokemon? You gotta, I don't know, you gotta have a bigger team than that. You can't just have one Pokemon and expect to win. Like, seriously, Team Flare, what is up with you guys? I mean, that's kind of what I do. I just mainly use one Pokemon all the time. But that one Pokemon, as you see here, is level 48, so... I mean, it kind of works out for me. If your Pokemon was level 48, then maybe I'd say, you know, it's fine that you have one, but no, they're not. So, come on, Team Flare, step it up. Celosia and Brony have been defeated. No way. Wow, we are lame. Probably. It's just probability, after all. Absolutes do not exist. Ah, freaking scientists and their weird talk, man. I don't know what you guys are saying. Oh my, oh my. So lame. What a shame. We got beat. Enough already! We've already stolen the Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls. Let's call it good and leave. Alright, well, guess I'll see you guys later. Mr. President! Thank you so much. You're astounding Pokemon trainers for being so young. Very well then, I want to share you my appreciation. I'll give you a Master Ball or a Big Nugget. Pick whichever one you'd like. I think I should pick first. Are you serious? Oh. Why would... Why would... Why would... Why? Why? Why do we get to- of course we're gonna pick the Master Ball, what? I mean, how much money does a big nugget give you? As a bonus, you can have the one you didn't pick as- Whoa, okay, so I guess we could've just picked the big nugget. Um, sure. That is great. We're in a Pokeball factory, why don't we just steal all the Master Balls? That would be pretty smart, so... I don't know. What were they planning to accomplish by taking all of the Pokeballs for themselves, I wonder? I really don't know, Mr. President. Without Pokeballs, people can't catch Pokemon, which makes many people won't be able to make friends with Pokemon. Let's sit on the President's chair, man. Feel important. Yeah, that's right, man. We are the ones in charge now. We've taken over the company, man. You're out, Mr. President. You... You can't handle this company, man. You're fired. You're fired. No, he's not. Uh, well, one man can dream, right? 
They stole Pokeballs, right? That means they must be planning something that they may need Pokemon for. I heard the Team Flare was also behind the trouble at the power plant. And electricity, what could they be after? Huh. I don't know, maybe they're trying to power up this giant evil death ray that the Lysander guy was talking about? Who knows? We'll find out as we get more into the story of Pokemon X and Y. The thrilling conclusion to come next time! No, not really. We're actually pretty far from the thrilling conclusion. Um, and I actually don't know. All I know really is what Lysander has told us so far. It seems like they want to make some kind of death ray, but uh... Then again, we still don't know if Lysander even is with Team Plasma or Flare. I keep thinking of Team Plasma every time I think of Flare. How do we get out of this place? Seriously, why is it so difficult to get out of this Pokeball factory, man? This this should not be that difficult. Let's actually reverse switch, I guess. And now we can get out of here. Hey, man, you weren't here before, were you? Uh, I don't think so. You could have at least gave us a free Pokeball, man. You gotta be that cheap. All right, well, we're finally gonna make it out of here and hey, our friends are back. How was that, Shauna? You alright? Hey, do you think it's okay to have a look around now? Yeah? I mean, why would you want to look around now? We already kind of looked around. I'm sorry, Team Flare messed up everything. It's not a good time right now. Team Flare? Have I heard the name somewhere before? Were the people in the red suits from a minute ago? That's right, Trevor. Team Flare. How do these guys not know about them? Do you, like, are you blind? <laughs> like, what's happening here? They took all of the Pokeballs by force, but they're everybody to use. How awful. It seems like it would be best not to get involved with those guys. I mean, I see a giant vat of Pokeballs right next to us, so... Clearly, they didn't take all of them. What should we do now? According to the town map, Dendemil Town is next. Okay. So I guess that is where we'll be heading next time. Mo, you and Serena were really awesome. You're way stronger than those bad guys. Still, try not to do anything crazy, okay? You mean like you going and having some Team Flare guy chasing after you? Because that wasn't crazy. I didn't worry about you or anything, but... All right, Serena. Thanks for the chat. I guess she's just going to chill out in these Pokeball Factory. Cool. Well... That is, I guess, going to be it for this episode, as we're actually getting a holo clip. Every time I say we're going to end off, we get another holo clip. Except this time, it's someone that I have no idea who you are, so shake it all around and there we go. We're bringing you this special bulletin. The Pokeball Factory in the area around Lavier City has been attacked. The identities of those involved are unknown. However, this is not expected to have any effort or effect on the sales of Pokeballs. That, that's it? I really needed to hear that, man. That was very, very important for me to hear, so... Cool. I guess Hollow Clips can just randomly get you these, uh, little news, I guess, <laughs> every once in a while. I mean, my phone actually alerts me when there's, like, an Amber Alert nearby, so I wouldn't be... Or I'm not really that surprised that the Hollow Clip actually has little new stuff for people around the area, I guess. Anyway... That is now going to be the end of this episode, guys. So next time, we're going to be heading off to, I guess, Dendemil Town. And here's this guy. Why are they, like... How do they not know that Team Flare is up to no good? I mean, you see a bunch of people with red suits. Nobody's going to get, like, curious about what they're doing. Seriously. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And see you guys later.